Well, uh, dear viewers, we're still uh, with you here on ILTV International uh, from this uh, very special uh, episode uh, we are, as we are celebrating the uh, stunning victory of the uh, 6th of October War 1973 and from this uh, prestigious uh, Egypt Air Forces Museum. And uh, our next uh, interview is here with the one of the Egypt's pioneering female pilots who has uh, curved a unique path in a traditionally male-dominated profession. Her journey into aviation is a story of passion, of course, determination, and a deep sense of duty of her country. Salma Al-Qadi, and to know more about her uh, career as a pilot, female pilot, of course, it's amazing, exploring her early inspirations and the reasons behind choosing such a challenging yet rewarding career. Salma Al-Qadi, pilot, how are you doing? Hi, how are it's you? It's a great doing pleasure well. having you here thank with you. us. Thank you, the pleasure is mine. Captain Salma, thank you very much for being with us uh, today so on much. Nile TV International. Thank you. Uh, of course, uh, as Hanan mentioned, uh, you're a pioneer in this field to be a pilot, uh, but we need to know more about the beginnings of uh, such a career. What made you choose uh, this field? Um, is there a role model for you uh, that inspired you to be in this field? Okay, so uh, actually I had a passion for this field since I was still in school. Um, after my high school, my graduation year, uh, the pandemic started so I couldn't apply for whatever I wanted, which is aviation. Uh, immediately I waited for two, three years. I applied for several unis, like uh, several like big universities here in Egypt, but I got accepted in all of them, but I didn't want to like keep going and like go into something else other than my passion. I waited for almost two years and then I applied and once I applied I got rejected because I didn't I wasn't prepared as much as I should have and that was a shock for me because I thought I was and then um, giving it time uh, I took like six months I was I, I, I got prepared in everything in every aspect geographical and like the information the stress how to handle my reactions and action because being a pilot is like a big concept it's not only in the in the work so yeah I handled everything well and then I reapplied and finally I got accepted of course when I first came in it was a bit um, hard for me because I thought as you said uh, that it's a male dominated uh, career and it's so hard for a female to start their their career there and and like proceed with yeah so uh, when I first went there we were three girls uh, and like 19 boys uh, but let me tell you uh, honestly, I got support from every single person in the, in the academy, from my mentors, from the management, from the teachers, from the students. We used to take care of each other uh, and we were like a family to each other. So I didn't feel any threat being a woman or a female in the industry because actually everyone supports everyone. And, and the main benefit in the end is to achieve their goal, our goals and like developing our own country <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman yeah uh, captain uh, salma actually um listening to your uh, answer i was uh, just uh, i'm amazed to be <laughs> honest you. yeah actually being a, a pilot a female pilot uh, i like so chapeau as we are in a country, um, as uh, our um, political leadership, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is always supporting the female and, and supporting women, actually, yes, in all fields, um, the success of women to be uh, uh, pioneers in all fields. Out of your uh, answer, actually, I got lessons that we got really from such a place and from the uh, triumph of the 6th of October war, which is um, how never to surrender. Um, how always to be uh, the resilience, the persistence, the, uh, uh, this is what I got also from your uh, trial, several trials to, you persisted on to be a pilot, so you tried several times and you kept going on, so this is it. How you just, uh, we can link this or linkage between the, our uh, great soldiers in the war and, and now and the new generation. 
Okay, so when it comes to our great-grandparents and our ancestors, of course, they had a form of resilience and determination that we do not have in our own days right now. Uh, they, do, they didn't have like the, the support of the technology, of the advancement that we have now, but at the same time, they had one main goal fixed the, in front of them, like a common vision for everyone, each one, and they worked as hard as they can work to achieve it in the end, and this is called uh, the patriarchy approach or patriotism okay so the thing is nowadays if everyone actually took started the first thing we should think about is our home country our our families our even not our own own families like by blood but everyone around us in this country like the population the thing is if everyone in this new generation and of course I'm a part of it so us we have so many support again when it comes to technology and all that so uh, if we start working by resilience and determination to achieve our goals as well uh, as you know, aside aside by teamwork as uh, and unity also this can actually help to develop everything in the way this the the, 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 the lessons we learned from the from the october war we can use it in every single field aviation medicine uh, technology and everything so um, yeah <laughs> That's yes, you mentioned the younger generations, which is, of course, you are one uh, of them. And the lessons that we have uh, taken from the October War victory against Israel in 1973, do you think that we need to be having more awareness of the lessons that we have had and we have um, uh, created through the victory against Israel uh, more than 50 years ago? Do you think that the young generations now, they don't really know the essence of what happened uh, at this time? Okay, so from my perspective, again, as a part of the new generation, everyone, let's be clear, everyone knows the event, everyone knows our victory. But like the, the newer generation, they are not very uh, into the, the details or they do not have all the knowledge regarding the details. But at the same time, from what I see, since we all appreciate this event so much, every and each one of us, uh, one month prior to the 6th of October, ev the, the everyone starts to make, like schools, they start to make projects regarding the, the war and they let their students like, know more and more about the war. Uh, when it comes like us now, we are having like a very big event for the for awareness and for to let everyone know that that the, the the one that we got is very successful and we truly deserve it because we actually worked hard for it so yes the new generation doesn't have like all the information that they need but at the same time they have a sufficient form of of of, of knowledge that they can benefit from if they do have the consistency and resilience to actually know more about their family and and their country Captain Salma, everyone has like an uh, idol, a uh, role model in his uh, field or in his career. Uh, what are your idols or role modeling in your career here, and especially in uh, uh, aviation? And when we talk about our really great grandpas, grandfathers um, uh, in relation with the uh, Mansoura battle, the uh, 6th of October war. So did you really study the, uh, the, the figures and the personalities of the, our um, expired? pilots and you're uh, inspired by them okay and so who are your uh, role models <laughs> okay so let me tell you something uh, in our in, in our academy every most of the teachers and most of the of, of our management the dean and everyone was ex military forces okay so i didn't actually uh, learn I experienced their their experiences everyone was very happy to tell me everything that happened like in details when they were there and actually I don't have one specific role model everyone who was again as a mentor for me in this Academy is my role model because I saw how persistence how persistent they were for example at the war and after the war and in every battle that they that they went through and again they had I had the chance thankfully thankfully to learn this from them directly and like we used to have our fun time we used to like do the training in Sinai so our fun time is to go to a captain called Captain Hamzi of course uh, shout out to him and uh, he used to take us all and tell us about his battles when he was in the quarries and anything and and this was actually this was the actual experience for me because I saw how being a pilot is more of a mindset and, 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 and a concept same as the war more than just fighting and, and working and machines and all that it's more of a mindset 
So yes, thank the you. sacrifice, determination, and persistence, as we have seen throughout your story as well at the beginning and thank beginning you. your career as a, a captain or a pilot. Uh, but how do you see the importance of applying this mindset? You've mentioned the mindset, the culture. We need to be having a different mindset to be changing, to be succeeding in normal life, even not just uh, in times of war, but in times of peace as well. Do you think that the Egyptians? They are having their mindsets changing slowly under the tenure of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi for the past 10 or 11 years. Okay, let me tell you something. Uh, going through a war or a battle is not only physical. Okay, thankfully, thankfully, we are not going through any physical wars like our sisters and brothers in Palestine and Lebanon recently. But we have our own battles when it comes to economic challenges, when it comes to environmental sustainability, when it comes to technological advancement. And uh, actually using uh, what we were taught by our grandparents, like resilience, like determination, like consistency uh, and commitment, this all actually can, can get us to succeed and get to a more developed uh, way of life or lifestyle because again if we work very hard knowing that we are working for the benefit of our home country and our families with resistance, uh, resilience and commitment and all that we can achieve so much can't you see like the the new generation now with the startups and everyone everyone is like going making a project and making it succeed actually yes. we are very here in Egypt uh, we are very supportive to anyone who has like a new idea or or something new we just need the commitment and the action for us to actually support it and get to a better uh, vision for it thank well uh, pilot uh, Salma al uh, thank you for being thank with you, us sir. it was really amazing being with you here today <laughs> and uh, thank you very much thank you very much Captain thank you so much uh, the pleasure was mine thank you <laughs> well uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, we still have more but right after the break stay tuned